what it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up! March has arrived. FTC is always a boo! Is always a vibe. Try not to get stirred. Ten scary videos. Ten scary videos. That will cry yourself to sleep to. If I read that right. Oh well, I'm mad at it anyway. Check it out! Can't believe it's been a minute since we read the Nukes Top Urban 5, Explorers man. from the YouTube channel Urbex Castro America. Visit the historic La Plata Cemetery in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The cemetery was built in 1886 and is the final resting place of many notable figures. But while wandering through the huge cemetery's 12,000 tombs and vaults, the guys stumble upon a crypt that has been vandalized. Their camera captures something downright chilling. <laughs> Did you see it? No. I don't see nothing but castings. Well, neither did the guys who filmed it. You see, after posting this video to YouTube, their sharp-eyed viewers were freaked out when they noticed a creepy little pale hand pulling back into an open... Oh! <laughs> Yo! Nah, that's some movie shit right there, dog. Bro, imagine if they was just being extra nosy and trying to actually go inside of it, bro. That footage would have never made it to the internet. I didn't see... I thought they were talking about this little... It looks like a... It's like a hat or a glove? Or, I don't know what that is. I thought they were talking about that. Bro, it's right there. Bro, that's something out of a movie. Little pale hand pulling back into an open coffin. Now, that is. Now, it happened bro. so quick that it's hard to see without brightening the footage and analyzing it frame by frame. But when the footage is converted to a negative image, the spooky little hand is a bit easier to see. Now, it's very unlikely that anyone could have crawled into that coffin to fake this. This crypt is very old and unstable, and it would be very dangerous for someone to just climb inside. So did this group of urban explorers accidentally capture proof of the paranormal? Well, as usual, you decide. Bro. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Castronautica. Trapped. In this next video, a man is taking a short video of a car that he's planning to sell. The vehicle belonged to his sister, who tragically passed away right inside the car over a year and a half ago. So sorry, After so sending sorry. the footage to a potential buyer, he gets an alarming message saying he should really check the video closer. Hey man, here's this, uh, here's my sister's car. Just wanted to make this video so you can have a look at it. She still runs good. She's a little dirty. She has a lot of miles on her. But uh, it can clean up nice. Here's the front. A little back. Here's some of the back. But I hear it. Like, it was on and off. Uh, if you're interested, just uh, let me know what you think. Throughout the footage, the faint sound of a woman crying can be heard. The video was shared online by These Dark Adventures and quickly gained nearly 500,000 views. In the video comments, many concerned viewers believe that the voice belongs to the spirit of the man's sister who passed away inside the car and that her soul is still trapped, unable to move on. Motorcycle Mystery in the city of Cagayan de Oro in the Philippines, a motorcycle rider is driving down a busy road that is notorious for being the site of many fatal accidents. He is about to experience something that is truly bizarre.
someone appears to jump right into the motorcycle's path. That's but when the rider weird. looks back, there's no one there. But it gets even weirder because the motorcycle rider claims that whoever this was, they didn't appear to have a face, only a strange dark blur. Now, many locals believe that the rider saw the ghost of someone who passed away on the dangerous road. But if this wasn't anything supernatural, then just what happened here? Seriously, what Let me know what you think. Open House. Reddit user slash realtor Sandra is recording a tour of a 1960s bungalow-style home to show prospective buyers. Sandra's filming at night in order to showcase the house's interior lighting. But it's starting to get a bit late at the creepy little cottage. And things are about to get weird. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful vintage 1962. Letting the ghost walk in? Fight back! Yeah, I just didn't off the video, bro. Hey, she looked like she on go though. No bull. Look, look at her fist. Her fists are bought up. <laughs> hey, that's a W right there, at least. She ready to throw a Floyd Mayweather combo, Ben. Oh no, that's her foot size. That's her foot size. That's her. I thought it was a joke. That was crazy though. Go ahead, do it again. I ain't gonna lie, to that. I'm gonna end off the video when that door it. shuts. That door shuts right now, I'm ending off the video, bro. I don't need to get scared like this. Bro, imagine how she's feeling in that moment, like no, like dead as, but she's literally like, she's actually more calm than what we're, what I'm thinking at least. Open this door. Go ahead, open this door. The door's already open. Open this door like you the other one. The door's already open. See, I, I can see you can never like judge how somebody's gonna react, bro. Like, yo. But I know she's probably looking back at footage, like, yo, okay, like that was a dumb moment there. Come on, just move the glass or something. There's no way the ghost is sitting there listening to her. The ghost is probably like right behind her, and he's just like doing some dolphin laugh or something. Bro. Go ahead, do it again. I'm not scared. What the hell? Oh! Boom! Run out of there! Fuck the damn gun tour! Oh! A door suddenly Nigga, I had to check for a second, bro. The ghost popped up in here. Hold on, bro. Because that one, that was the most realistic ghost. Nah, I'll just decide. I was shut my window. I didn't know if it was open or not. Um, but nah, bro. That's the most creepiest ghost one I've ever seen. And I'm like always a big, like, you know what I'm saying? believer in terms of like okay like i feel like 
maybe ghosts do it, but I'm not really like so high up on terms of like okay, like they're like I'm like like obsessed with that with that fact if it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So, but bro, now nah, that was crazy. It's open on its own, and Sandra that was crazy. is spooked, but she gathers her courage and rushes out to see what's going on. A glass of water sitting on top of the fireplace shifts and slowly moves as if it's being pushed by some invisible force. I didn't even notice the glass moving before. But things get even crazier as a smoke detector suddenly starts to beat before crashing violently to the floor. With that, Sandra... Bro, and she said, fuck this, I'm out. out of I'm out. But there's also something else that is very creepy in this video. Something that only a few viewers even notice. So again, I ask, did you see it? Right before the door moves, a face in the picture right beside Sandra seems to slowly darken. And then the creepy little shadow fades away just as the door swings open. Sandra says that she's experienced several unexplained paranormal events in this home, but this was the first time that she finally captured it on camera. We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Blicker. Reddit user Sibseb says that his mother is taking care of a young foster child at her home in England. One night, a TV is playing a cartoon in the child's bedroom, but the flickering light from the screen reveals something that the Reddit user and his mom simply can't explain. Something that is downright creepy. Someone seems to be seated in the chair. A small pale face illuminates in the flashing light from the TV screen. Then the face just Is it one of those Chucky toys. But it, oh, it disappears. Wonders if his mother's security camera accidentally captured a paranormal presence. But what do you think this is? The Fond du Lac UFO. Around 2 a.m., Florissa Bonnelet and her family friends are driving home to Fond du Lac, Saskatchewan, Canada. Suddenly, Florissa spots something very odd in the night sky. It's a, it looks Not like a me. UFO, right? That's a UFO! Christian! Just, just stay right there. Look, it's just above there. Are you recording that? Oh, I yeah. see it. I see it. Oh. I mean, has it already been the bunk? Like, UFOs is out UFO. there? UFO! You can just see it! <laughs> We're hiding on. <laughs> Bro, you can just see it. It's like the rock. Just keep movie. recording it. Join our YouTube. Everyone is shocked as they witness a strange circular object with flashing lights soaring through the sky. Florissa's mother posted the video to Facebook and friends and local residents immediately began to respond that they too have seen the strange UFO. Eyewitness reports in the thread go all the way back to January 1990. So just what could this mysterious flying object be? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Follower. Nick Perry says that late one night he was driving down the allegedly haunted Dyers Lane Road in Roseville, California. He says that he saw an ominous dark shadow figure appear in the middle of the road. Nick believes that this dark entity followed him home and says that he now experiences terrifying paranormal activity. Really? So back in 2022, I shared Nick's story on Nuke's Top 5 along with some of the scary footage that he had captured. That's actual knocking, bro. That house need to just go for sale, brother. Like, that ain't it. Still knocking? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. That yo, I'm I'm moving out of there by the morning. And you said this this wasn't his like first time happening too, bro. People be brave, bro.
Now, in the last two years since those deals were recorded, Nick Perry has moved to a new house ah! in a new city. Nice. <laughs> I don't blame him. They see he had to add on in the last second in a new city. The dark entity has followed him. He's no! Him. And uh Follow? I was walking in and I heard some banging noises in here. So that's why I'm sitting on the camera right now to find out you know who the f it is. Max! Shut up! Now up against the f***ing wall. Nick decides to leave several cameras recording when he's away from home. When he reviews his footage, he is shocked. Oh, hell no. Oh, my goodness. Now, nah, you, you can tell that there's no way you can fake that. Like... Nah, bro. Once the refrigerator, you, all your food that you work hard for to get groceries for and stuff, you have a chance of that getting spoiled? Nah, it's a, it's a fine, thin line, bro. Hell nah. And it closes? Bro. What did this guy do? This seems like a permanent curse or something on him. This is that man. I don't want to put it past nobody, but shit, <laughs> bro. He had to be doing this. Is it's got to be some type of karma, right? This Except can't be no. He's reached out to several churches and religious authorities, but no one has helped him. As of today, Nick says that he continues to experience paranormal events in and around his home. He shares his dark experiences over on his YouTube channel. I feel bad for Mimic. him. Man. Leandro from Buenos Wait, Aires, Argentina, says that he began to experience strange, unexplained events only weeks after moving into his new home. He says that he would often discover that many of his belongings had been inexplicably moved into the house's bathroom. Leandro installed a security camera to see what's been going on. But late one night, he captures something more than he bargained for. What? Bro, I need to just move the Antarctica. Leandro is completely unnerved by the strange paranormal experience. He decides to check into the history of his new home for answers. He is horrified when he discovers that in the 1950s, a family of four passed away in a tragic fire on the very same land where his house now sits. That's the spirit, man, that's haunting or something. R.I.P. to family. Wow. Another night, and Leandro has his friend Daniel over. And once again, it goes sideways. We have cameras in your bedroom? This is a living room. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 I seen that. Look at that in the background. Holy moly, what is that? What is that in the background walking, bro? I don't see no arms or legs. Bro, there was somebody walking right by. Open the door. A mysterious white figure can be seen passing by the window just outside Leandro's home. Then the item sitting on the nightstand get launched into the air by an invisible force. Nah, and Leandro and his friend Daniel jump up in shock. And now, this is when things get really strange. Because Leandro claims that after this incident, the spirit that haunts his house actually began to imitate or mimic the sound of his friend Daniel's voice. Son las tres de la mañana de nuevo. Esto es lo que yo, con lo que yo convivo desde hace meses. 
Con esto yo conmigo dos meses. Siempre que grabo. Vos no sos Daniel. Vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz. Vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz. Daniel se fue hace meses del país. Vos no sos Daniel. Si querés lastimarme, salí y lastimame ahora. Bro, open the door. Man. Dejame de joder. Dejame de joder. Bro, this is creepy, bro. Yo sí no puedo vivir. Yo no puedo vivir así. No bro, something like that happened in a house, bro. I'm just gonna live in a hotel for the rest of my life, dog. Just then, then at that point, then then I can just speak to the like customer service or something. What's going on, bro? Why is this shit haunted like this, bro? Bro, this is just creepy, man. I don't blame him for freaking out, bro. I hope he has protection Andrew or something. says that he's had more than enough of the strange supernatural activity in his new home. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Footprints. A woman named Kat lives in a remote area near the woods in Pennsylvania. One freezing cold morning around 4 a.m., Kat wakes up to find a light dusting of snow covering the ground outside. But then she notices something just outside her back door. Something truly disturbing. Good morning, guys. It is literally 5 a.m. And I opened the back door to put some dry food out for the stray kitties. And there are people feet printed all over my junk in the snow. Do you see this? They start over there. They get bigger. And it's like their toes, like so that means they don't have their the shoes table. on. There's nothing coming up to the... Maybe there is something coming up to the door. What? And I don't see any in the yard. That person has shoes this? on. I see them kind of coming out of the flower bed. They stop there. I thought maybe they would have walked off through that flower bed, but I don't see anything there. It's like one straight line from out in the yard up to the door turned around towards the table and then just oh i just moving. noticed look at the comment it's like barack obama actually was so curious wow that one has like one two three like six toes that's six to so was that one one two three four five it is 16 degrees out i have not gone outside yet my cat came and woke me up hysterical probably because there was some barefoot person on the deck I'm just more concerned about like a mental health crisis because there's no reason to be out there barefoot. Now, for obvious reasons, Kat is a Fast. bit freaked out, but she's also worried that someone might be experiencing a mental health crisis and is wandering around in the freezing cold with no shoes. She calls the police, but she's reassured that no one has been reported missing or lost, and there have been no reports of trespassers or break-ins in the area. Kat is concerned, but she's done all she can and she just lets it go. But almost two weeks later, the mysterious footprints are back. Okay, morning footprint update. <clears throat> Let me show you. This is the first time we've had snow since the initial footprint sighting. Do you see that? They're barefoot again. They're in a different spot than Shadow. So those prints are in a different spot than when we had prints before. Let's go downstairs. It is seven o'clock. I've been up since 4.30. I didn't look outside. I just came up here and then I opened the window to see if any of the stray cats were coming up to the door yet because I didn't feed them yet. the side so I don't interfere those are definitely very bare human feet but there are not six toes on these that I can tell I don't know no, those are very clear toes right there 
So the house next door has nobody living in it, so I'm not sure why the prince would be coming from that deck. Happy New Year. Cat purchased two security cameras year? to monitor the outside of her home, but the mysterious barefoot stranger hasn't returned yet. Oh, I thought it was a deer. So could this not... be something supernatural, or is it something even scarier? A real person creeping around Cat's house in the middle of the night. It has to be. Heads logic up. answer. Popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long is back. This time investigating an abandoned school in China that is said to be extremely haunted. As his live stream audience watches, Xiao Long begins to hear unexplained noises from somewhere in the building. He's a little on edge as he goes to check out the strange sounds. What happens next is... Just watch. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Oh, it's just a sculpture. Yeah, that man was screaming like crazy. Plus, bro, bro, yo, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. We gotta grab the man, yo, book bag or something, bro. Close the schools, bro. That's a that's a sculpture, bro. Come on. There's no. I, I see it. Maybe at like first sight, maybe get like scared because I would have too. But bro, I, man, I was overreacting low key, man. You knocked it down. Somebody could have spent hours or days building it. That's one of those um, what is that? The, uh, the clay. They ever let you do that stuff in school? I did it when I was like third or fourth grade. Uh, they had arts and crafts class. Man, that was an underrated class, bro. I don't know if the school still has that nowadays, but that shit was fire. You know what I'm saying? I was, bro, I was making some, like, nice artifacts. I feel like that's worth about 15 or 20 million. I don't know. For some reason, I never passed, like, the um, the challenges, though. Like, where, you know, all the classes would get together and see who makes the best one. But I know someone out there appreciates all those uh, nice things, you know? Does he have a goofy music on it, or that's the top five that did it? Xiaolong gets the fright of his life because of a plastic statue head. Luckily, <laughs> Xiaolong delivers a good old-fashioned slap upside the head what that with that you? statue back in line. But things are about to get... Wait, what exactly that. was that statue? But luckily, Xiaolong delivers a good old-fashioned plastic statue head. But luckily, Xiaolong delivers a good old-fashioned... Is that statue supposed to be like a person or is that like a monkey or gorilla? I'm just asking because I mean, bro, it was just a slap upside the head to put that statue back in line. Slap was crazy. But things are about to get a bit more serious and a bit more frightening. Oh. As Xiaolong explores deeper into the haunted school, this happens. Oh, I thought that was it. Shot at the window. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Uh, it's like some object rolling by itself. Or is that the same uh, sculpture from earlier? Where did that come from? What's going on? Yo! Small ball inside a classroom rolls across the floor by itself. 
So Xiaolong chucks it out a window. But then the lights hanging from the ceiling come crashing down, almost hitting Xiaolong. Oh, now, I thought the ghost hunters made it up safe. But he's not done. But the light just fell itself. Inside one of the school's many rooms, he finds a dirty old mirror. And this is when his exploration takes a terrifying turn. Someone standing behind him, but when he looks around. <laughs> no one is there. <laughs> hey, he's trying to stand on business. He said he's afraid. <laughs> Damn, more F your mama jokes? <laughs> or not jokes, but um, words. <laughs> he says it again. It seems to be here. Why is he even still there? Just get out of there. Oh, did he crawl through the ceiling? What? Oh no, he's right there. Bro, just get up out of there, man. It is not worth the money. I'm out. Figure is gone. Face looking through window. Now he's beating up the dresser. In the mirror's reflection, someone can be seen standing behind Xiao Long. But when he swings around in terror, there's no one there. After an attempt at kicking and flailing at the invisible entity, Xiaolong finds that the reflection of the figure has disappeared. But now he spots a shadowy face peeking in from a window, and the heavy closet comes crashing down right in front of him. The activity is becoming a little too intense. So Xiaolong decides to leave and ends his live stream. You can see even more terrifying moments from this ghost hunt over on the YouTube channel, Out